What's going on guys? Isaac Punts. Today we are going to be finding out the best place to punt the ball using science, okay? What I mean by science is I'm going to take some chalk and mark it on my foot like this. So that way when my foot hits the ball, we're going to be able to see where exactly it hit. So using this, we're going to know what's the best place to actually hit on the ball. Everybody has their theories, everybody kind of knows-ish, but nobody has actually gone down and figured it out. So that's what we're doing today. We're going to take a look at where the best place to hit is. We're going to hit this whole set. We're going to take a look at all the different miss hits, see where my foot hit on all of them, and then call it a day. And we're going to learn a lot. I can tell you a freaking lot in this one little session. So let's get into it. So one thing I'm hoping to capture on film is there's this legendary spiral that turns over and goes flat, okay? And it doesn't just nose that's the one I want to catch on film to figure out how the heck you hit that ball like where specifically do you have to hit okay so ball number one here we go I'm gonna try to put them in different places on the field so I can remember which ball I hit also I'm gonna put a little tick mark on the back side so I know which direction I'm holding it so if it ends up in the middle I know which side of the ball I kind of hit on all right ball number one all right beautiful we have a pretty good backside miss it where it doesn't fully turn over that's awesome i actually love hitting that kind of miss it as you can tell it rolled way freaking downfield which is huge that's exactly what we want so if i can figure out how to hit that ball on purpose chef's kiss that'll be beautiful okay a similar miss it oh that's a ugly hit another backside hit Another one. <laughs> Let's try to see if I can't turn one over. Right now I've got a nice six mile an hour breeze. Probably more than that, probably an eight to 10 mile an hour in my back. I'm having a hard time turning one over. There you go, third one. A little short. So we gotta keep that one in the back of our heads. There you go. Took off at about 55 to 57 yards. She floated. again. Nope, that's not it. We'll definitely want to see what happened there. There we go, she got a little wobble. Still didn't turn over. Holy crap, I've only turned over one punt this whole round. Okay, full turn on that one. Nice little uh, 59 yarder. No, nose diving pretty quick right there. Still a 55 yard punt. Okay, well, let's go check them out. See where it hit off my foot and do a little analysis, a little science. Okay, so as you can see here, we have all the footballs lined up with their chalk marks on them. So the results came out beautifully. And here's what we learned. These two balls, 100%, I smoked, okay? So as you can see, this is where my foot, right on this part, hit the ball at. So holding it this way, to get perfect contact, I came right up through the ball, kind of through this panel, which isn't really what I was expecting. I was expecting it to be more on this panel right here. So, first thing that I'm seeing here, unless I just got a lot more turn on it than I thought I did, is that my foot is coming up through this bottom panel. Next, you can see here, a common conception I had had, and I think a lot of punters have, is that the miss hit that causes the ball not to turn over is coming from hitting on this back side of the ball. But as you can see from a lot of these punts that didn't turn over, specifically this one, the miss hit is coming from it being a little bit, I guess still it is technically barely on the back side of the ball. You can see the chalk marks barely coming over the hump right here. So that's the interesting thing is I thought it would be a lot further back. I thought it would be almost back here, but it's just barely catching this front part while these turnovers are almost completely a bulk of it on the other side of that. And this should just go to show you that as we're going from ball to ball, miss hit to miss hit, they are not as different as we think. We can see that this one's a lot further forward than maybe some of these other turnovers. This, this one here is look at the angle that it takes is it's a lot more coming diagonally off that line. And these ones are a little bit more right up that seam, just a hair. But it's just these little tiny differences that make that wide variety of punts I see. And this is why I always tell guys that punting is such a huge mental battle because look at how some of these are just barely different than others, but create such different looking punts from one another. So moral of the story is, is that when you go to punt a ball, you should be looking to come up through, if you have this much turn in the ball, at least like I do, up through this opposite panel to create it to turn over. So now with this information in mind, let's see if it changes the way that I punt. I 
mean, automatically, I feel like my thought process about how I'm trying to punt this ball just completely changes. Because now, instead of trying to chase this inside panel, I feel like I can swing so much smoother up through that opposite panel. And it's just getting me like a way cleaner hit. Wow, I mean, it's just completely changing the way I think about punting off this one little exercise right here. Let's see how, if I can keep it going. Okay, so this might have just been a game changer for how I think about punting. Whenever I think about striking, instead of thinking about going through this way, I'm almost trying to get my foot to the opposite side of this ball right here and strike beneath it to get a super crisp, clean turnover. Holy crap, this is just blowing my mind. So now I gotta be getting to this opposite panel of the ball. So I'm here. Okay, that wasn't so good. You're not gonna be perfect every time, okay? I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you learned something today. I'm gonna hit the rest of these, just going for light taps. But seriously, have an amazing day. I hope you learned as much as I did right now. Oh my gosh, dude. I feel like I could do this all day. Nice little turn, drop away from me. And just turn over everything, automatic. But as always, hope you have an amazing day. Keep me in your prayers, keep the GMAC returners in your prayers because this is, this is a game changer. So, have a good day with this ball. I say to you, peace.